was invented when die-hard hockey players decided to take the weather out of the equation. The sport has since taken a life of its own, finding an audience among the younger generations. While hockey purists may still expose themselves to the elements, a group of students have embraced floorball and have been dominating the school scene. Hi, I am Farhana from Bukit Merah Secondary School floorball team. Come watch our team in action. I just hope your eyes can catch up with us. In 2004, Bukit Merah formed the floorball club. So then we only had a team of girls and a team of boys. So the number was very small. But eventually over the years, um, we recruited more and more people and then the team grew bigger. Eventually, now in 2014, we have a very strong membership of about 120 students. Floorball being a new sport in the school's calendar, it's a very great opportunity for schools who are not traditionally strong in sports to actually try to achieve something. So it is a level playing ground for everybody. The secret to our success in floorball would actually be a very dedicated team of teachers working very closely with our coach. And because there's an understanding among the teachers that we show commitment to the CCA and to the students as well. So we are always um, willing to help each other out if we are unable to take a training or you know we have something urgent to attend to. I am very happy to say that our students here have really showed their commitment and their passion to actually want to achieve in something. And that is the drive that actually brings them forward. A level playing field, along with the dedication of the teachers, has made Bukit Merah Secondary the teams to beat in inter-school floorball. For the students, however, floorball has become much more than just a CCA. During set one, we have this floorball trial, and then I was shortlisted. I was very happy because floorball is a niche CCA in Bukit Merah Secondary School. I like this sport because it's a very fun and exciting sport. It's a sport whereby you learn teamwork and then you get to also bond with each other. My team and I is quite close. Like after training, we sometimes go out for lunch together. We encourage each other through WhatsApp. When there are matches, we motivate one another. When they are down, we encourage them, give them good words so that they'll cheer up. My team is feeling nervous, then stuck because uh, we are going to meet our opponent who we meet during the second round and we also know that they will come back hard. So we feel very nervous because we will want to beat them again. For the finals, our girls are physically ready, I would say. However, we really need to work on their mental strength to be able to play throughout the game and not to give up. So we are always trying to motivate them. At the same time, it is very nice that the girls are motivating each other, encouraging each other non-stop. Before every game, they would send each other messages and all because we are in the same WhatsApp group chat. So <laughs> it's very nice to see them encouraging each other, asking them to drink water, rest well, and just to give their very, very best for the game. Can you see the ball? This is just training speed. Wait till you see us in the finals.